Hey, what is up guys? Today I will be updating the Sony Xperia Z3 to Android 6 Marshmallow. So as of 21st of April, this update is available on the Xperia Z3. Unfortunately, still no update for the Z3 Compact, so we'll have to wait for the Compact version to receive the upgrade. But anyways, we're going to update update this phone. This is the Sony Xperia Z3. Uh, let me show you the model number. So this is the D6653 and currently it's running Android Lollipop. You can see it here. Anyway, there are two methods of, methods of performing the update. Uh, the first method is you can use the OTA upgrade just by using the uh, upgrade method on the phone itself. So to update using the OTA method, just head over to the settings go to about phone tap on software update and it should automatically show that the uh, system update is available for your phone and number two and the second way of performing the update is through Sony's PC companion software it's much more stable and it's much faster to perform the update using a PC so anyway I'm gonna, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it with a PC and I'll also put this link down in the description of the video so you guys can download the PC companion software yourself and do the update anyway let's begin just grab a micro USB cable and yes guys please make sure that your phone is 100% charged I charged it just now you wouldn't want your phone to turn off in the middle of the update So as soon as you connect the phone, the PC companion should automatically show that the software update is available. Android 6 Marshmallow. Anyway, we're going to tap on update. And you can see all your personal data will be kept. It will take around 30 minutes. Accept. It's asking if you would like to disconnect your phone until the download is complete. Uh, I'm going to leave my phone connected so I'm going to click no. And now it will download the software from Sony's website. And now we're just going to wait until the software gets downloaded onto the computer. And I'll be right back. Yeah, it takes around an hour or so to download on a 4 megabit internet connection and yeah like it says over here it's safe to disconnect the phone at this point of time because uh, right now the software is just being downloaded it's not being uh, downloaded onto the phone it's being downloaded onto the PC so yeah if you want to use your phone you can just disconnect it and connect it later on when the installation time comes so okay so let me show you so even if I've disconnected my phone the download will still continue no problems at all so I'm gonna connect it when the download is finished so be back in a while uh, almost done five minutes to go okay so it's now asking me to connect the phone so first we're gonna click continue alright guys make sure you read these instructions and yeah, make sure your battery is 100% charged because you wouldn't want to, you know, run out of battery when the update is going on. But anyways, now it's asking me to connect the phone and we're going to do that. Okay. And okay, let me just see if you guys can if I can get you guys to Okay, so the phone for the phone is turning off automatically. It's off. And let me show you what's going on here. let me just close this thing and yeah
Alright, so now it's asking me to disconnect the phone and turn it on. And yeah, it, it shows that turn on your device, note that the first data after an update may take a while. So keeping that in mind, uh, let's just disconnect the phone. Yeah, it's a little difficult doing it one hand. There we go. And now let's just turn this on. And now we wait. Yeah, it's the same animation which was on uh, Lollipop, so don't worry guys, it is indeed Marshmallow, I'll show it to you guys when this phone boots up. It's just a matted uh, scratch card, nothing else. So it's showing that Android is upgrading optimizing applications. Uh, yeah, you guys can see, can't see it on the camera. Here's a better view. Okay, so we're finally updated. Uh, it's saying update Google Play services. I'll do that later. New SD card detected, so SD card is working. Oh, check this out, guys. Check these new icons, especially the app drawer symbol. It's a little bit different than it was on Lollipop. Sort apps, manage apps, settings, icons, my size small, default icons. Oh, so we have different transitions now. Let's check the Android version. Yeah, you can see the icons are a little bit different here. Uh, let's go about phone. Android version 6.0.1 D6653, which is Xperia Z3. So we've got to update that to make it work. But anyway, everything seems to be working fine. The sound settings. Uh, Wi-Fi is working. Uh, really interested to find out how the camera looks. Yeah, we got the new camera interface just like on the... Uh, Xperia Z5 and I can notice that the phone isn't really heating up that much yet yeah, it's, it's cold to touch 
no heatings at heating problem at the moment so yeah everything is working fine let's take a picture takes picture all right Yeah, Sony has included this Hangama Play app, which uh, which I'm gonna delete. Can it be deleted? Uh, I'll see that later. But let's check the memory usage. Let's go to storage. So around okay, so 10 gigabytes is used at the moment. Yeah, that's normal because I've got so many applications, pictures, and little bit of music on the internal app SD card is working uh, 25 gigabytes is used battery usage and there's no stamina mode at the moment but I think that Sony is gonna include that sooner or later Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll do a performance review later on. And I'm really happy to see that the phone isn't he really heating up at all. But yeah guys, I like this update. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And okay, so before we go, let me see if any new wallpapers have been included. This is a new wallpaper. That's it. Here's another one. Anyways, see you all later, guys.